Now, there are some in the Hedera community that will recognize the name Red Swan from the early days, but we hadn't heard from them in a while. Well, that's about to change in a big way, and we were able to talk to their CEO, Ed and Wackety, to give us the inside track. Ed, I heard about Red Swan building on Hedera years ago. Uh, can you tell us about your business and your journey to this point? Sure. Uh, we are a marketplace of digital assets. Uh, we provide liquidity for sponsors and also a much more affordable process for retail investors to buy high quality commercial real estate by digitizing it into shares. Understood. So how exactly do you leverage Hedera and what benefits will it bring to Red Swan and then of course in turn your customers? Well, we've been working with Hedera for quite some time. Like you said, back in uh, 2019, we started doing some marketing just to kind of explain what tokenization was to some of their customers through, through advertisements and video. But now we are really excited to be able to create a, a token standard, a uh, SEC compliant token standard for issuing digital security tokens of all types, but specifically in our case for commercial real estate. And so we're going to kick that off very soon. You'll be seeing a press release, but uh, we're excited because it allows now for any Hedera member to be able to tokenize assets in a secure manner and it's in compliant with the SEC regulations. But it also allows Red Swan to bring billions of dollars worth of high quality commercial real estate to the Hedera ecosystem. And have you actually tokenized any real estate to this point or is that coming in the future? And then what are the marketplaces going to look like? Yeah, uh, we have tokenized about $5 billion worth of assets so far. All U.S. assets. I'm really proud that we're closing on a uh, large portfolio, over $2.5 billion from Qatar. Uh, so we're opening up some options in that market in the Middle East. Uh, we also opened an office in Lagos, Nigeria to kind of cover uh, the African continent. So we're really branching out to tokenize assets to bring opportunities to three different continents to not only our users on Red Swan, but now to the Hedera marketplace. Well, Ed, just like all entrepreneurs, I'm sure you have a really big vision for this. What do you think the future looks like for tokenized real estate? The future is huge. You know, real estate is the largest asset class in the world. Uh, we're focused on commercial real estate, which is uh, a market cap of about $75 trillion. And right now, there is, I would say, about 35% of all commercial real estate has the equity tied up. Uh, so that's about $26 trillion worth of equity that's just trapped in the real estate. We think we're, we're providing a significant benefit uh, to property owners to kind of recapitalize that equity by pulling it out of their properties while they still maintain their GP leadership and, and management status. But now they have that liquidity to go ahead and buy or develop new projects. So uh, we're really excited about that. But you know, for users, you know, is, real estate has always been kind of the wealthy game. Um, uh, smaller investors were not able to buy into high quality projects. And those high quality projects are the ones that have the less risk uh, because they have the better tenancy, the better management, and they're newer. So you have less maintenance issues. So we think by you know, bringing these types of opportunities to um, more general uh, investors, both uh, foreign investors, as well as Reg D investors in the United States, it, it opens up many options of affordability, and access, and but also a unique benefit of tokenization is a liquidity benefit. So if they decide they have a change in events uh, in their family their lifestyle, and they want to liquidate some shares, or some or all, uh, they can now do so using blockchain technology. So that's one of the main goals is the fractionalization and democratization of real estate in general? It is. I mean, fractionalization just allows them to be able to buy into projects as low as, in some cases, $1,000. They can buy into high quality real estate, so they can crowdfund into that. Uh, but then also having that ability to sell because some people are afraid to buy into real estate because, of course, the price tag is 250000 or above for many quality projects. And then the a lifeline for it is you know five, seven, even 10 years before you can get your money back. And that prevents many investors from jumping in because they don't know what their needs are going to be in the short term or even the long term. So they just rather stay out rather than jump in. And I think now having that capability of liquidity will allow people to take to practice getting into real estate. Also, like you said, with the democratization aspect, they can now diversify $25,000 into 25 different types of assets, which reduces risk, but also increases their profit range and also diversification of uh, real estate assets. 
Well said. And thank you so much for building within the Hedera ecosystem. And, and of course, stopping by to explain it. Thank you, Brandon. Really appreciate being here. Looking forward to more. This is going to be a very exciting time for all of us.